Hey, welcome back, everybody. I got another video to show you all today. Today, we're going to talk about all the light options that you can have for your home arcade slash man cave, whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of different things you can choose from. And me, I couldn't know which one to choose, so I just choose the wall. So I'm going to break each one down for you, show you how much it is and what it looks like. All right, we're going to start off with the open light. If you got a man cave or an arcade, it's going to have an open light for $33.99. That ain't that bad. But let's keep going. I got a couple of Pac-Man lights I got from Arcade One Up. Long time ago, I got one from Walmart. But right here, we got the disco light. Now, this shit right here, it adds a lot of life to the room. I got it from a Halloween store a couple years back. With the red and the green and the blue. You can work it out with the uh, Bluetooth. No buttons on the side. Something I thought to give the room a little pop. So let's keep on going. Right now, you has got all the lights glowing. So y'all can see all the options. Now just light. And what it does to a room. Let's work our way over here to the strobe light in the corner. This motherfucker right here lights up the room nice. All the brightness, all the pizzazz you might want. Let's see it with just that light. Look at that shit. Now, if you got a fog machine, which I'm going to go over in a little bit, it adds that extra flavor. But with just these lights alone, you got a light for the party, man. You got to go. Put the music on, which they also work with the music, and they'll flash with that. It adds a lot of life, and I like it. As a matter of fact, I got two because I like that life in this room too. All that pizzazz going on all over the pool table. Just that light has a lot of pop, has a lot of flavor. And with the fog machine, it makes it look twice as nice. And at $46.99, that's a little bit of money. But if you want that pop and that flavor, I highly recommend it. It's got a disco ball in it and it's got the strobe lights in it. Let's see some pictures. The light show the happy family. Looks nice. Control I got works good. Shows your video just like I got. All right, everybody's looking at this shit over here. Got the disco ball going right there. Got the little LED light under there. Got the TV one. TV one, it ain't available on Amazon, but of course, Amazon got other options for your ass. So you can pick a little bit of this, pick a little bit of that. Does the same shit, and it all works out. Hooks right up to the back of the TV. Prices range from $12.99 to $20. But it actually adds pop to the television. Comes off when you turn it off, turns on when you turn it on. And it plugs right in the back, which is the best part. I don't need an extra plug. The most TVs nowadays got a USB on the back. All right, now it's time for the disco ball. Now that's the three in one. You know what I'm saying? You need a disco ball. You need one of these spotlights in the corner. You need a little turn style thing to make the ball turn. Now this light right here costs thirty-three ninety-nine. It ain't that bad. Scope these pictures. Now it works. Easy to install. Oh yeah, life of the party with one of these bitches. Works good. You can use that without a disco ball, but with the disco ball, it looks extra nice. Look at that. Disco ball with it. That's something you can fuck with. Looks like you had an ice skate when you can skate on that motherfucker. But it's not nice. It's just spinning like that. This shit is nice. Takes me back, back in the day like I'm at a prom and shit. Disco ball. Now this particular one, with a 12 inch motherfucker, 62.99. But they got smaller options. I just wanted a big one. You know what I mean? I, I just wanted to see it like that. See if it made a difference. But I used to have a smaller one, and it pretty much did the same shit. Look at all the colors. Whatever you shine at it, and you don't gotta just put it in that. You can put it as a centerpiece in your living room. Like all the crazy motherfuckers, whatever you want. And it's the last thing you need for the disco ball. You got the motor. 
1799 ain't a bad price. It just spins nice and slow. Makes you feel like I said, like the ice skate. So enjoy that with me. So let's see in here real quick. Another light that I enjoy is the LEDs that go around this room right here. I bought this set up 75 feet. It took to go around this whole room. They give it to you in two pieces. One goes one way, one goes the other. Connects in the middle. You get a control with it. Hook it up to the Bluetooth. Works with the music. That shit is all right. And then we got the smaller one at 1999. That one I use all by our uh, air hockey table. You know what I mean? But you can put it on whatever you want. You will put it on the back of your arcade, put it on the floor, put it on the wall, put it under that something. Just accent it. It makes it look nice. Something I highly recommend. Let's walk over there real quick. It's joy for a minute. Now, like I said before, I didn't know which one to choose, so I chose everything. This shit right here, this mystery block I picked up at a yard sale, I hung it up with some fish and wire. Just an idea I had, as soon as I seen it. I paid 10 bucks to that shit, and it's been worth every penny. Easy things you can think of, but you know what I'm saying? Be creative. Put something up nice. When the room is nice and foggy, I'm walking back on it, I can't even tell it's up there in wires. Shit looks like it's floating. But right here, we got the fog going with the fog machine on blast. It makes every light pop. I love that shit. Right there, that shit puffing out smoke. You got a little Bluetooth with no control on it. Makes that shit look all right. And the smoke goes from one room to the other. Spreads like, oh, don't shoot, don't shoot. The lasers in there. You know what I'm saying? It makes it look nice. Look at that. All of the lights shining bright in my face. Now at this point, I put a lot of smoke in this room. So this smoky as shit. Makes it feel like you're at a party or something. But they don't put it in here. For me and one other motherfucker at this time. But if you're amazing, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you want. This shit looks crazy. The smoke machine definitely makes a difference for your whole arcade. For your man cave, whatever you want to use it for. Look at the lights. Look at that. This is so nice. You got a little lick in you. It looks even nicer. Let's see some prices real quick. $52.99 ain't too bad. See some pit like all these happy people using a smoke machine put a little fall juice in it. It works nice. Look at that, look at that weird hope being happy. You got some fall juice right here. $17. That's all you need. That should last for a minute. I got my shit from a minute ago. Pour a little bit in there. I still got the same bit I got in there. Well, I hope everybody that helped y'all out in making a decision on lights for your home arcade and a man cave. And if you can't decide one, I recommend buying them all. Because they all look nice. Before we go, I got a couple of quick shout outs. There are a couple of folks. Let's show Javan some love and embrace him in the home arcade community with open arms. And for that, I greatly appreciate y'all and the content that y'all deliver. First up, let's start with... Papa Brad's Cayman. This man right here, he puts out that good shit. You like them arcade cards? Check his ass out. Next motherfucker we got. DKOG73. This motherfucker right here. He posts a lot of shit from his own home arcade. This man's got an excellent setup. Loves to play a lot of games. Loves to do some streaming. Check his ass out. I hope this video helped y'all out. And the couple people that I talked to about it. Which is David Baloney who brought it up in the comment for a video like this. And also, Daddy's Game Room. I hope your ass picks one of these lights. It'll definitely make your shit pop. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed that. And I'll see y'all later.